Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Seattle Center. Hi, I'm Robert Nellums. I'm the director here. And this is a, in a very historic day. Wow. You know, here at Seattle Center, we say that our, our, our purpose is to delight and inspire the human spirit and uh, to build uh, stronger communities. And if you look around here, you can feel the energy from the delight of the spirit, and you will sense the power of the community as, as we go forward. Um, I want to do one thing, just uh, uh, I have the microphone and I may get in trouble for this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, Monday was a great day. We had, we had a great vote and, and a lot of people were acknowledged for the work that they, they did. I just want to point out two people who, without their work, uh, this, we would not be standing here today. And I just want to mention uh, Rebecca Keith, who is standing right over here from the law department. <laughs> And her partner in crime, Carrie Smith, who is standing right over there from Seattle. You know, Seattle Center, um, uh, we're 55 years old uh, this year. And I think it's very ironic that we're sitting down and um, at, uh, the first visit of our new, newly elected mayor, her first act here at Seattle Center will be signing an agreement that could go uh, for another 55 years, guaranteeing that this grand public space will be here for not only our kids, but our grandkids. And that's what really drives us here. So I want to welcome all of you um, to this historic signing. And I want to uh, now uh, invite our mayor, um, Mayor Durkin, to step forward. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. And I think that uh, Tim is going to say some a few words first, and then I will address. So, oh, oh, well, I thought we were building up to the best. Let me give you the person for whom, without this, would not happen. Council Member Deborah Warren. opportunity to um, kind of upstage uh, Mayor Durkin <laughs> and I've known her for over 30 years um, I promise no bad words <laughs> looking at you mr. Daniels um, I do have and I'm just gonna say it is a good word that's all I'm gonna say I'll leave it at that um, let me just say this I, I could see a lot of things but a lot has been said I mainly just want to speak from experience and what we've done after more, um, after more than a year of meetings and all the reviews and documents, I'm so excited to stand here today and feel so proud of my colleagues, Kirsten Arstead, the director of Central Staff, Dan Eater, um, Mercedes, of course Mercedes, Mercedes Isolante, my committee uh, right hand, um, and also Council Member Bagshaw, representing District 7, and I'm telling you, at every level, um, getting together the community groups, could not have done it without her and her phenomenal staff. My co-chair, uh, Council President Bruce Harrell, and his staff then. Uh, there's been a lot said and done, but as far as I'm concerned and the way I was raised, is that we move forward, and that's what we're doing here today. Um, we took the time, we did our homework, we work cooperatively in a partnership with the executive branch, and it was phenomenal. Brian Surratt, where are you? There's Brian Surratt. Please give it up for Brian. <laughs> Brian Surratt, uh, Mr. Mr. Stickle, Mr. Abrams, Mr. Stone, I could go on and on. Um, Mr. Hirsch, um, Ms. who's our lawyer? Huh? Greg Narver. I can go on and on, but um, I'm, I feel like I'm going to hear some music cue up in a minute. I have to be quiet. But let me just say this. Hi. Hi. She did that last time. I swear to God she did that last time. But she will be in the dunk tank in D5 in July of next year, just so you all know. So with that, I, I really don't have anything much more to say except for I am blessed to have such a phenomenal job to take on such a major project, not just for Queen Anne, not just for the city of Seattle, not just for King County, but for this state and this region. And is Shana here? 
I want to give a special shout out to some of you will hear more about her. Shana Dietsch. I, I, I've known Shana for two years. I still can't say her last name right. I said this on the dice, but I want to say it again. People like Shana and Mercedes and my staff stepped up. They dug in. They did their homework. They went to the archives. And we spent weekends and nights. And so I'm looking forward to the development agreement. I'm looking forward to the lease agreement. I'm looking forward to the integration agreement, the, um, well, the, the mobility access plan. Those are the documents we're going to be pouring over again. But at the end of the day, I'm not leaving this job until this thing gets built. Thank you. Stops being a trial lawyer is as me too. Uh, where is Mr. Lewicki? Oh, there he is. Okay, I should thank. Uh, I apologize. Thank you, Mayor. That's why you're the mayor. I want to particularly say that it was a pleasure working with all the people that um, responded to the RP. Um, AEG was phenomenal and great. Mr. Lewicki and OBG, their professionalism. Uh, Mr. Lopes, um, Francesca. Uh, okay, everybody's got to chime in here. Um, I, I can't, Doug, okay. Anyone else? Anyone? Yeah, I know. Okay, so but my point is when you work with professionals and you're honest and candid about what you want and what they want, it's like we, no one has a problem with people having an agenda. It's a business. What the problem is is when it's not transparent. And so if I know what you want, that's fine as long as I know that. And when we were in negotiations, I felt that the whole time that we were pushing hard, they were pushing hard, and we came out a winner. Thank you. So, uh, Councilwoman Juarez, uh, you make me nervous when you thank my lawyer as nicely as you did. <laughs> Doug, I'll have a word with you later. Seems to be an enormous amount of love for you right now. Uh, we're very proud to be here. So first of all, on behalf of the Oakview Group and our partners, David Bonderman and Jerry Bruckheimer, um, we, this is the beginning and we couldn't be more pleased. Uh, we're grateful to the city of Seattle, to its citizens and to its leadership for giving us an opportunity to be a part of your great community. Uh, Mayor, I was kidding the mayor's staff and saying, I don't know why everyone says this was so quick. I've been through four mayors, so we've been here a long time. <laughs> But I get to begin and I get to end with Mayor Durkin. And, and we are extremely pleased. We didn't have the right to vote, but we cheered on the sidelines and we wanted to make sure that when you're spending what could be several billion dollars, you wanna make sure that there is a dynamic leader that is going to be your partner. And this private public partnership is in great hands with the mayor and we look forward to cutting the ribbon with you, Mayor. So thank you. Uh, Councilwoman uh, Juarez and, and Bagshaw were phenomenal. They were tough. They're very tough. I remember my first meeting with the councilwoman. She's looking at me like, all right, let's cut to the chase. And she did cuss at me two or three times. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and afterwards, my staff looked at me and said, how did it go? And I'm like, she scares me a little bit. <laughs> Both, both her and Sally have been phenomenal, and we're very grateful to the council president. Bruce, thank you for your leadership. This is not an easy deal. So 100 years ago to this year, the Metropolitans won the Stanley Cup for Seattle. Uh, 50 years ago, the NBA came to Seattle with the Sonics. 10 years ago, you had your heart ripped out. We're going to get you a team. So much has been debated, much has been said. I can't believe half the stuff I read, it's kind of crazy. We're gonna get you additional teams. They're gonna join the storm. Who is our anchor tenant? Who is our partner? And I told them the, the, the back of house, there's the storm locker room, the NBA locker room, and the NHL locker room, and we're gonna use all three. We're gonna work very diligently at getting you teams, and we will not, the mayor, looked me in the eye last week and made me swear to her that I would spend every waking day trying to get the NHL here and the NBA back here. And then she literally told me at the end of the meeting, you're not working hard enough, get going. So <laughs> we're extremely focused on that. I'm grateful to the city staff. I'm grateful to the lawyers. I'm very grateful. I'm not supposed to call anyone out, but Brian and Ben, you did a very good job. You were tough but fair, and we appreciate it. This will be a legacy 
that will last well beyond our time, and you will be proud. Um, so we have work to do. We have a lot of work to do, but we're going to deliver. You will be proud of what we deliver here. This is today the 71st concert market in the world. 71st. Seattle's much better than that, and we're going to figure out a way to make it top 10. This is the only major metropolitan area in the United States without either an NHL or an NBA team. We're going to fix that, and we, we will work every day at getting you these teams back to join the storm. And finally, Mayor, that this is the beginning. Our, our partnership couldn't be more pleased and excited to be part of Seattle. We're going to build a world-class management team. You have our word on that. We are going to spend billions of dollars. You have our word on that. And you will be very, very proud that we will take this building, which is yours. And the, in, in the city of Seattle, this is your building. We, for the next 39 years, will do a great job operating it and making it the heart and soul of this community. Finally, Robert and your team could not be more proud to be where you, Robert. Thank you very much for allowing us to be part of your neighborhood. Uh, we're looking forward to the partnership and working with you on a daily basis. So, again, a lot of hard work to do. We're anxious to get after it. Uh, we look forward to being a part of your community. We are grateful. We're humble. And we are hardworking, Mayor. We will be hardworking on a daily basis. On behalf of the Oakview Group, uh, Lance and the great job he did, David Bonderman, Jerry Bruckheimer, and our ownership group, we're ready to go. Thank you. Tim, um, and thank you for being here. This is really an exciting day for the city of Seattle. For all the neighborhoods around here, I want to thank uh, both the Queen Anne and Uptown communities that are represented here. It is going to be good not just for Seattle and these neighborhoods, it's going to be so great for our region. Um, before I start talking about the key, I wanted to take just a moment to recognize this has been a very good week for Seattle and sports. Um, we had a huge win of the Seahawks. How about that? And the Huskies are going to the Fiesta Bowl, which is great. And of course, we're going to win the Soccer Cup. Uh, and I will be talking to the mayor of Toronto later just to remind him that he's going to feel the pain once again. So I, uh, it couldn't be happier to be here. This is such a special place for Seattle, but really particularly special for me. I want to thank everyone who works in the center, who are many of who are here today. Thank you for all you do to keep this special place special, so thank you very much. Um, I've been coming here since I was a kid and have brought my children here many, many times. Uh, as a young girl, I, you know, I hate to admit it, yes, I was alive during the World's Fair. Um, and watching the Space Needle be constructed, and I have had so many good times in Key Arena. I will tell you, it is going to be wonderful for the city to see it rejuvenated for the next generation so that there will be as many good times in the Seattle Center at that arena as there were when I was growing up. So thank you for that. From the early days of my campaign, I made it very clear that I was open to any proposal that would bring an NHL team and our Sonics back to Seattle. And that is why I am signing this MOU today. I think we are here. I think we have the path. And I will say I love hockey. We have the ice rink in the back. But I must admit, I'm not neutral. <laughs> I've been saving this t-shirt for a really long time. And this is an original. It's not one I ran out and bought today like some people did. <laughs> You know, as a kid growing up, I can tell you, watching Lenny Wilkins play, watching Spencer Harrywood, watching downtown Freddie Brown, those were the things that gave Seattle some of its spirit. You know, we were at a really difficult time. Some people don't remember that the Sonics were named for the supersonic transport jet, which was going to be built right here in Seattle. And there was this huge enthusiasm. We we're going to build this jet that could go faster than the speed of sound. We were going to have an NBA team. Then we lost the jet. The contract was canceled and, and Seattle shrunk overnight. People left, there were neighborhoods that were empty, but we had the Sonics and we had Lenny Wilkins. And when Spencer Haywood was taken from Denver as a kid, I can remember my father was a lawyer. I was really mad, people don't remember the story of Spencer Haywood, but he decided he wanted to play basketball young before he had graduated. And the NBA said, nope, you have to wait till you graduate. So he went to the ABA, which played at that time, and played for a team in Denver. Um, we then 
Sam Shulman, who owned the Sonics at the time, brought him here, and the NBA was not going to let him pay. So Seattle and Shulman sued the NBA for antitrust. And I can remember one of the first times I went to my dad and said, you're a lawyer. Why aren't we, and I meant we, he and I, representing Spencer Haywood? Um, so we will have great times in this key arena, I am sure, with our NHL team and our Sonic team. And Tim, what are you doing here? Um, there are a couple of things that are very important that I think it's important for the people of Seattle to know too. Is one of the other criteria that was very important to me running and is very important is this will not be a public financed arena. This will be financed by the people who are investing in this arena so we make sure we are protecting our dollars. It will protect Seattle taxpayers. We also understand that this will have impacts like traffic, and so the deal requires there to be $40 million spent on traffic mitigation, as well as a mobility plan put in place at the expense of our partners, so that we can make sure that as people come to this facility and this grows in time, as Seattle Center is recreated, that we don't have the negative impacts but have positive impacts on this neighborhood. So thank you very much for being at the table on that. We also want people to understand, because I've been asked a lot in the last week, there is nothing in this MOU that blocks the path for any other people who want to try to develop an arena. Um, we are all ears on that, but we are moving forward on this because we think it is a good deal for the people of Seattle. We think it is good for Seattle Center and its neighborhoods, and we think it is the best path right now to get us an NHL team and maybe a NBA team. Um, and it's not a zero-sum game, so we are looking forward to that as well. I really want to thank a number of people, Councilman, Mem Council Member Juarez, your leadership on this really was terrific. Um, you dug in. A lot of people made the mistake that I knew, you can't make a mistake after you've known Deborah for so long, is never count her out and never count her down. Um, council Member Bagshaw, thank you for your work on this too. For the other council members who work so hard on this and the council staff, we would not be here but for the very hard work. Um, I want to thank you, Tim Lewicki, and your group for being an honest partner and sitting down at the table in what were some very hard negotiations. You know, we've got a number of contracts that are coming online and there will probably be more hard negotiations, but I'm sure the city will do fine. <laughs> And Brian and Ben, I also want to give you my personal thanks. The city owes you a lot for this. And since I couldn't wear two t-shirts, I also want to say my personal deep affection, but this city's affection and love for the Seattle storm. Thank you very much. We will make sure that that team is pr protected and I can't wait to see them play in the new arena. It's going to be fantastic. So I want to thank everyone for being here. I want to thank for all the work's done. There's a lot of work left to do, but it is time for us to reimagine. Reimagine this space and what it will be like, not just with Key Arena, but with all the other things that will be happening in and around this neighborhood and this city. And just like in 1962, when the World's Fair was looking to the future, we will be looking to the future again, and that future looks terrific. So thank you very much. Then I think there may be a couple of questions, and I'm going to uh, have the prerogative of the mayor. Uh, first question goes to Chris Daniels. <laughs> and I brought you a present. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Why me? Is this so I can coordinate my... It's just a joke Chris and I have about his socks, Sonic socks. <laughs> And they are pink. I, I pink. love it. it. Matches. Yeah. Chris, do you have a question or are you good? Uh, You're good, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> um, th this has been a divisive issue for the past decade. You clearly did not want to weigh in on this on the campaign. There is uh, an enthusiasm gap from a lot of fans here about this project. How do you close that gap 
How do you get everybody on board with this project, given how divisive it has been over the course of the last decade? It's a great question. The question was, it's been a pretty divisive process over the years, first in losing the Sonics, then having dying projects. Um, I remain neutral throughout the campaign. How do we close the gap to bring the community together? I think it's a great question. I think we move together as a city. And we've got a lot of work to do to make this project work. I am committed to making it work. I've also met with Chris Hansen and his group, and I've told them that if they have something that they think they can bring forward to the city that is viable and will bring a team here, I'm all ears. And so I think as a city, we will remain open to all possibilities, but we have right now a deal in our hand that we think is a great path to moving forward to get what Seattle deserves, which is both an NHL team, an NBA team, and having a world-class facility in what is a world-class city. Blair, what do you feel your role is in trying to woo a team here? Obviously, Tim and the rest of the crew have to do their work financially, but are you going to be cheerleading on this, meeting with some of the league owners, and are you guys partnering with them soon in order to try to get something going? That's a great question. The question was, what is the role of a mayor in actually trying to land a team here? Obviously, the, Tim and his ownership group will be looking. Look, I'm going to try. I'm not sure who I'm going to meet with, but I hope to be able to talk to and meet with the NBA soon and to meet with people there. I want to also talk to folks at the NHL. I'm going to continue working with ownership of the storm to make sure that we are protecting them as the path goes forward so they can come back vibrant. But look, part of a mayor's job is to advocate for the city. And part of what we want in the city is an NBA team, and we're due to have a team. And so I'm going to work to get one here. Any other questions? Have you had any conversations with the NHL or NBA? I have not had any conversations with the NBA yet. I thought it would be presumptive until we had a deal and plan, but I plan to move forward on that. The NHL, though. And the NHL, no. And for the same reasons, but I obviously want to reach out to the NHL. We know that there's a lot of movement there that's likely we could get a team quicker than we can with the NBA, and we want to do that, get that secured, get moving forward. There's a lot of hockey fans. Um, you know, I think it's telling that the last time we had a Stanley Cup in Seattle was about when Bertha Knight was mayor, and we're going to get a Stanley Cup here, too. I'm wondering if Tim can answer that question as well, too, about next steps with talks with the NHL. Could you say that again? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Question for Tim. If he could oh, Tim, a question for you, next steps on the NHL. Uh, you should ask the commissioner. <laughs> What's his number? <laughs> Any other questions? If not, I want to, oh, one last question here in the front. You mentioned you spoke with Chris Hansen. Have you spoken with him since the MOU vote, or was this pre, before the vote? This was right before the MOU vote. But I'm happy to take a meeting with them. Um, you know, we're going to move forward on this, but look, we want this city to be protected, and we want, you know, every avenue explored to make sure we're doing what's in the best interest of the city and bringing basketball back. All right, thank you all very much, and thank you to everyone here today. Now we're actually going to sign the deal. <laughs> the first document that is being signed is the action, the ordinance that's transmitted the MOU. It's probably against some city ordinance, but I'm signing it in green because I believe in the Sonics. All right, that is now signed, and now we will sign the MOU together.